Okay, um, welcome to Gru, and thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, definitely. So I see you do a little bit of everything, like you act, you write, you produce, and it looks like you sing too. Oh. So, <laughs> so like, what came first for for you? Um, I think it was definitely music that was the first thing when I was younger. I went to like a songwriting camp and um, started playing with that. And then when I was 15, I was in an HBO film for like five seconds, like three seconds, if you blinked, I was gone. And so that was my first intro there. And then um, I just started acting from that point and kind of been doing everything simultaneously. Um, but now I'm kind of more shifted into, yeah, like producing is something I do a lot more now. Okay. Yeah. And is it is it hard to like wear those that many hats like combined in everything? I don't think so. I think when you care about what you're doing, it's a lot easier to focus on it. And so I don't think I'd ever do anything I didn't want to do. So I definitely feel no, I, I don't. I mean, I'm not like sitting there like doing everything at once, but um, no, I think it's kind of no, I don't know. I'm like tunnel vision. So it's like if I'm doing something, it's like the only focus I have until it's done. So I kind of just make sure I, or I try to make everything as perfect as I possibly can. But, you know. Okay. Kind of, okay. Kind of impossible. <laughs> Horrible answer, but yeah. <laughs> so when, when, when you first broke in, in, into the world of, of, of acting, what was your very first role you ever had? The very first thing I ever did was a film called The McKenzie Project, um, which was like a short horror movie um, that we had done. And then my first, like, I guess, big thing, which was still not that big, but I did like um, camp. Uh, it was uh, this airline called Air Canada, whatever, decided to make like a short film. And that I was in that. Um, and then Ryan Reynolds narrated it. So he was there for like a blip. And then oh, wow. it was just like a national campaign that was like in theaters and stuff. So I don't know. I did that again. If you blinked, I was gone, but I was on set for like a week. So it was cool. But um, that was kind of the start of everything. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, I see you were in a, a film. I'm a big fan of films made by full full moon and full moon don't do moon. this <laughs> <laughs> you know how many interviews i've done and no one's ever brought this up <laughs> I, I mean you're talking to a horror guy <laughs> so funny um yes i was in a full moon feature evil bong high five i think it was yeah. um that was actually i'll tell you a fun story about that that was the first okay so when i was a teenager i moved to la mm -hmm. and i was like convinced i was like convinced i was like this is so easy whatever um that was the first project i booked in la as soon as i had got there and i remember the audition with charles band i remember him and i remember the um other people there and i just remember it clearly it was at the complex in la i know exactly where i was i know exactly what i wore i just remember it so vividly um and yeah, you know, I showed up to set. It was great. David um, Dakuto, who was in the scene with me, he was fantastic. He's a director. Charles was amazing. I didn't know that he like, I didn't know what it was. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh my God, I have a job. Um, but yeah, I found out quickly that it was like, a, there was like a cult yeah. following. And I was like, what the fuck? But it was actually great. I wish I had it. They gave me a doll of my character in the movie. And I no, have yeah. it in this, in this apartment, but I do have it. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, it was honestly a great experience. Everybody couldn't have been nicer. It was so um, fun. Like I met the entire cast, like every single yeah. person was was great. It was, I was just, I can't believe you brought that. Well, I was like well, 18. I was like so young. Well, you know, they you said they they gave you a doll like the, of, of the person you played. Did they give you an evil bong too? No. No, I did see the, the prop, the evil bong, 
Um, but I, I didn't know what it was. Like I had, I truly had no idea what was going on. I was just, I showed up and it was like, a, it was like a sounds like it was all legit. Like it was like a full blown thing. And I was just like, okay. And then, yeah, it was, I, wow. Yeah. I've never talked about this. <laughs> No, it comes it comes up every once in a while. My friend's dad is obsessed with like bad horror movies. Yeah. And he has like the box set. And so we were with mine in it. And so we were going through it one just like trying to I can't remember what the fuck we were doing. But I saw it and I saw that DVD and I was like, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, yeah, Evil Bond High Five. Couldn't tell you how to watch it now, but it was on Hulu at one point. But yeah. Well, you, you can actually watch it on the streaming service of Charlie Band on on. He has, a, he has a streaming service. I need to email yeah. him. I need to talk to him. <laughs> like, hey, how you been? <laughs> yeah, no, he was he was great to work with though. He was so nice, so kind. I just remember like I just remember him. I remember like he was just fabulous. I don't know if you've ever spoken to him, but he's oh like, yeah, I, it, yeah. It, it, interviewed him about about his films yeah yeah nicest person ever nice person is. ever yeah he is he's very yeah. nice yeah i remember that that's great. <laughs> so now let's talk about your your horror series so yeah. you you wrote and made it and produced it you star in it yeah and it's as 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 ezra ezra yeah and so so tell me what inspired you to want to make this horror series um i think it, well i love horror i love it i love it so much i know that you also talked to my dear friend matthew finland i have a signed orphan first kill dvd hanging out behind me and i said matt can you sign this um but i love horror i it's just my favorite genre i love everything scary i love all of it um and so that was number one and then i don't know it just kind of felt like there was not really anything going on and i i'm always one of those people where like i'm more interested in doing something than being a part of it like if that makes sense like i love acting and i and i'm so grateful for like the jobs and i will continue to do that but i think making stuff is a lot more fun just for me um and so i don't know the one day i just remember being like I love Jennifer's Body. It's my favorite movie of all time. And I think the it, movie. it's the greatest movie of all time. A lot of people I, give it give it shit, but I I, I liked it. I yeah, really I, liked it. It's the best movie ever made. I have a huge poster of it in front of my bed. Um so it was kind of that meets the Adams family was kind of where I thought that there could be a fun show or something that existed. And literally, I was just like gay vampire. And I don't know, like, it was such like a blase moment that I never thought about again. And like, that was it. And then um, luckily for me, we had a great cast, which brought in a lot of promo. And we did um, press all over Canada. And um, yeah, it was just, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I, I was really happy to see something like, like this, because uh, the last like gay vamp, vamp, Vam Vampire Show was actually like a like a old a older show. I think it's on on here television. The the Lair. I don't know I if you ever heard of that. I didn't even know that there was that. I thought we were yes. the first. It it's a gay vampire horror series. It, it's spelled L A I R. Okay, I need to check that out. So so yeah, like this is like the first like gay horror van vampire series since that show and i was like really i was really happy to see that yeah i mean i'm definitely and i don't know what happened like there's some weird tiktok resurgence i don't know what like where all the um new attention from the show came from the last like month but um i've gotten a lot of messages about the show and um yeah i don't know I, like the biggest thing for me is i think when you introduce shows with queer characters the whole point of the show becomes about them being gay does that make sense yeah I, feel, yeah I personally feel like i have moved past that and i think that in my real friend group we have there's all types of people and i feel like that is what i want to see i don't think someone's sexuality is the most interesting thing about them okay. And I think with Ezra, we really wanted to just represent a real friend group. Although some of them literally want to kill each other, 
but that is a real friend group that exists today. And I think um, we did a good job at kind of, um, kind of building that universe. So I'm really proud that we were able to pull that off. Oh my God. Yeah. And I, 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 I love like everything about it, like how it, it, like like you said just doesn't focus on characters that are yeah. that are gay it's it's an actual horror show it's a horror series there's blood there's killings yeah. there's you know it's it's dark it's eerie and and that's what i love about it like it's a very like dark eerie bloody horror horror show i'm glad listen it took a village but i'm glad i can't wait to see um where ezra goes next oh yeah so yeah. like, how how does it feel to actually play a creature of the night? Um, I like I don't know. I think Ezra was just I love like the prosthetics. The one scene in the pilot with the fangs and stuff that I really wanted it to be like this whole thing, but it was this like whole VFX. Like I was ready to like get in there and like rip my face open, but it was like a fake head and all the prosthetics. So like a lot of the like scary moments I don't even get to do. It's all like a computer. But um, I love it. I love any excuse to be covered in blood. I'm there. I love it. Cover me in blood. Like, I just, I love it so much. Um, but it was really fun getting to um, play that. And yeah, no, I just, I just, Ezra has like a place in my heart. Because I feel like he's, you know, he's, he's obviously a monster and scary, but there's something really human about him. And I think that's what mythological creatures are. It's like an yeah. escape from the human experience. They're so close to you, but it gives you that sense of fantasy where it's like, you almost don't have to feel your own pressure or real problems. Um, so yeah, love that. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs> uh, is there a scene you had the most, the most fun filming? The most fun? Okay, there's, I have two answers for that. Okay. One was the, have you seen the whole show? Yeah. Okay. The scene in episode two, the cafe scene with me and Veronica Slykosko, that bitchy blonde girl. Holy <laughs> fucking shit, she's crazy. Because we would go in and we would have the script, but she's like a professional comedian, like improv, uh... like that's her thing. And she was on What We Do in the Shadows and she's filming another show um, pretty soon as well. Like she is just like, that's what she does. And so I'm gonna get going into these scenes like with the script, right? And then she just goes at me with things that are not written down, like just making everything up. And I was <laughs> dying, dying. Like, like everything that she said in that scene was on the spot. She's like, look, 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 look. and I'm just sitting there like, I'm like crying and like we had to like stop filming because I can't keep it together. And I'm like bawling my eyes out. Like I'm like, there's tears coming <laughs> and she's just going. She's like, you're gay, right? Wait, all right, yeah, I fucking love that shit. Like she was just, and I'm oh like- Oh my God, she, she really said- All of it, all of <laughs> everything she said in the, the whole show, the fucking song <laughs> in the pilot, when she's like, you little, um, in episode nine or whatever, she's like, yeah, you like, uh, whatever, little gay vampire lover boy, like all of oh, it, yeah. everything yeah. she says, and it was hilarious. It was even her and Priyanka at the end of the finale. That whole thing with them fighting—that was both of them improv. So, really? Yeah, she's fucking crazy. Oh, so that wasn't like, like you know, train like fight. No, they like just did it. Or no? They just did it, and it was great. So. Those scenes with Veronica, but the scene with Matthew Finlan and Chelsea Clark when he kind of has her kidnapped, I directed that scene. Okay. And that was amazing to film because they're both such strong actors, like yeah. incredibly strong, that I just remember when we were filming that, I was like, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to win a Grammy for this. <laughs> like, it was just... And that was, I just remember feeling very like, holy, it was the moment that I felt like this show was real. Like that was because when you're in it, you don't have time to see what's going on. But I just remember that I, I, I was just like, wow. Like well, I remember writing this and now I'm seeing it in front of my very like eyes. And it was just crazy to see that. So yeah. yeah. Matt, Matt is great. I love Matt. Like I, I interviewed him twice for the show. He's so nice and funny. Like he's a really great person, Matt. 
no matthew is great and me and him have something going on that the world will find out hopefully soon enough but oh um, all right so yeah matt's great and i'm excited for um to continue to work with him definitely those, definitely those uh, are my favorites <laughs> now i i guess what your favorite scene was now what is what kill did you like the most oh my god the car the car kill is iconic like that is my legacy is that car kill um yeah i don't know i think definitely that um i also think the scene no that's my favorite okay. I, also, I also i just love when matthew and chelsea fight i love that kill as well because that's the only time i think in the show you really see the fight happen yeah um i also loved the homage to jennifer's body in episode six when me and the boyfriend fight and mm -hmm. it cuts to the shadow of the jaw expansion um that was something that I really wanted to redo from Jennifer's body because I thought that was just like incredible with Karen Kusama and whoever came up with that it was amazing and so um that was one of my favorite homages but the car they, are you kidding the fucking pilot opening scene are you crazy that I, whole scene was like in my brain it was just so like pussy like it's so good <laughs> that that was a really amazing scene it was and like and it sets you up you know exactly where you are what's going yeah. on yeah well, well, what you was know, your favorite actually that that one the car oh, yeah. the car scene because as soon as soon as you said that i was like i, I was like that was that such it was shot so well and and yeah. It, it, yeah it's just amazing no that was yeah that was like that's my scene that's like yeah that, that was the very first thing that was ever written for the show the whole the show was essentially just originally that one scene wait so, real? yeah Get it it was, out. Ezra was like the show that wasn't supposed to be made. Oh. It was like this this joke that wouldn't die is essentially what happened. And then eventually um, a bunch of, yeah, I mean, someone wanted it. And then we had to build the whole show off of that scene. So that was always like oh, the wow. one thing. We, yeah. So that was, that was the OG. So, okay. 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 Yeah. Well, you, you know, if you come back for season two, you could probably try to get Megan Fox for a cameo. I would die. I would die to have. I if I ever met and have Megan, her play I, play Jennifer. <laughs> I, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If I was in the same room as Megan Fox, I would actually probably explode. Second of all, if there was ever something to happen where like. <laughs> they would somehow find a way to continue Jennifer's body. I would uh, also explode, but then I would be like fighting tooth and nail. I would be like, I will fucking like be a PA. I will be the janitor. Like, <laughs> give me something. I would, I would erupt. Like, I'm obsessed with Megan. When we did promo, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but when we did um the initial round of promo for Ezra, my strategy was in all like the written interviews was to bring up Megan Fox. So eventually, if I did it enough times when you Googled Megan Fox, a picture of me would come up. Or if you Googled me, Megan Fox comes up. That's smart. That I, is, I that love is. Megan Fox. I love Megan Fox. I love Jennifer's body. Um, I think she's great. Yeah, no, trust me. If there's, you know, Ezra's not over. I can I can say that. I can tell okay, you that. Good. I can't tell you anything else. But um, I would I would love to have her on the show. But I will that happen? Probably not. But um, you never know. You never know. Listen, we have some tricks up our sleeves. I don't know if Megan Fox is up my sleeve, but I'll try my best. <laughs> I will do everything in my power to try my best. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but I would, I would like she could just play Ezra. You know what I mean? Like I don't even need to be there. Like, I don't need to be on the show. That's fine. Like I'm okay with that. Like, <laughs> no way. I love her. <laughs> and was there any funny or cool behind the scenes stories that happened while you were filming this? Um, no, I definitely think most of it was with Veronica. I don't, because I was doing like 12 different jobs, I kind of like wasn't able to kind of go with the cast. I'm sure they had fun. They were, yeah, I mean, they did have fun. But, um, not necessarily. It was a lot of just running around with my head cut off and just trying 
my best and you know that's all we kind of did was just try to survive it <laughs> um but yeah I definitely think the church scene was like the funnest just because it was such a big set and I yeah. just remember Chelsea had been filming Ginny and Georgia all day and she came and Priyanka was there and it was just like this whole chaotic day and it was just so funny by the end of it because everybody had a great time and I just remember that day was like I was like this is the money shot and they had okay. just filmed um in that church like a couple months before I think they had just filmed Spiral the Saw oh yeah yeah so Chris, it's the, Chris it's the, Rock the, is in there. yeah it's the yeah, same yeah, church yeah, yeah. so we it was the exact same place so we were just like oh we're coming off Saw we're gray or golden so I just remember that but it was it was really fun over there for sure oh, nice yeah but I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens next. I definitely think. Um, I'm excited to see what happens next too. This show. <laughs> yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of turns. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you like doing in your free time when you're not writing, acting, directing, singing, and and everything else? <laughs> Um, I mean, I love to work. I truly do love working. I, I don't think I go a day without doing it. Um, but I love, like, my job as a producer. And I, um, you know, I really look up to, like, Ryan Murphy a lot of that, which is crazy that you've interviewed Jamie Brewer. Yes. That. That's insane to me. And she's, like, such a legend when it comes to she horror so television. Nice. She's such a sweet person. She I really can't, is. I know. I can't. I was, I watched it. I just couldn't believe. I was, like, that's just I remember like just being like 15 watching American Horror Story like the first season and it's just so crazy that like this it's just crazy that this is like a world that we all live in and like these people are just like it's you know you grow up watching them and then it kind of just feels like everybody's one degree off of someone and it's crazy so that was just so cool but um definitely yeah I just spend time working I mean we all like me and my friends hang out a lot um, I'm very lucky to also work with them. Like I was with Matthew last night. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, I'm friends, really good friends with a lot of people from Ginny and Georgia. Um, obviously, um, Frankie and Hale Grande are like my best, like one of some of my best friends. Oh, that's uh, awesome. I, know that you, I know that you did an interview about summoning Sylvia, which is an incredible movie. Incredible movie. I don't have you did you watch that? I I I watched it. I it, I interview both the writers and directors of the film and a couple of the actors in it and I got another one coming up at the end of the week another a actor from the film but the film wouldn't give me Frankie it was they won't give you Frankie no okay let me see what I can do <laughs> <laughs> let me see what I can do he is he is the nicest person on the fucking face of the planet but he was so hilarious in that movie like <laughs> he was so funny in that movie I could I was like sending him voice notes crying when he's like I can't remember what they say that one scene where they're like oh well then maybe we'll have to go whatever and he just goes then I'll fuck your father and I was like what <laughs> I was pissing myself laughing he's the funniest yeah we like I love yeah so we all hang out we film stupid TikToks we play little games oh, that's awesome we, you know, I just run around, but, you know, that's it. Like, my friends, we just, you know, we do friend things. Well, Nothing yeah, of course. That's it. So, but, yeah, we. I just have a lot of things going on right now that hopefully everybody fucking finds out about soon. Um, and then everybody will know what I'm talking about. But that's kind of been, like, the focus. But it does involve a lot of our friends, too, which is great. Nice, nice. So, yeah. And then we, yeah, that's it. That's all we do. Okay, okay. No, nothing crazy around here. <laughs> and you say you're a big fan of horror. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are some horror films that you love to watch? Okay, well, Jennifer's Body is definitely my comfort movie. Well, well yeah. Um, I love... Ooh. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of kind of more of the classics like I love the Scream the original Scream franchises mm -hmm. um I think the new ones are also really cool they're really upped I love Jenna oh, she's yeah. sick um I auditioned for Scream 6 didn't get it but that's okay um and I I just love the franchise I think that that was such like a pivotal like development for me because I grew up watching them 
but I also just love like I hate love them but the original Saw movies like the first one was great and the rest of them are just blood and guts but yeah I don't know if you've ever seen the movie and maybe you have because this would if you've seen Evil Bong Repo <laughs> the genetic opera oh yeah 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 love that movie yeah I saw that yes yeah. yeah it's a great movie um and then kind of like everything A24 has been doing I also love and then um you know horror movie like yeah those are just kind of I don't know yeah those are just like great I just can keep watching them like I can re-watch it that's how you know a movie is good I can watch it more than once I'm like okay yes great. but um yeah I definitely say those I feel like I'm missing one but I feel like those are like my strong- oh ginger snaps can that's I- really good yes yes, yes. yes. They're making that into a TV show, which is um, filming in Toronto, which I was like, really? Yeah. I don't know if anybody Same knows that, but it's on websites. Think so. girl's going to be in it? No, I think it's like a reboot. But oh, okay. um, John yeah. Fawcett is attached, I believe. And so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I love, yeah, that was another like Canadian staple horror movie. That was also definitely a big Ezra um, pinpoint tonally because I love oh, that. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah that- that movie is classic. That's so good. I know. I know. And even that hallway shot um, when Ginger kind of walks in and then, then, you know, Jennifer's body mimicked that. And I was just like, it's all one big merging. And then we tried to mimic that <laughs> with Ezra. So, um, yeah, I think it was just, yeah, those movies are great. John Fawcett's like a fucking, it's like for me, it's like, John Fawcett, Ryan Murphy, Diablo Cody, Karen Kusama. Like, those are my, like, I want to be the child of those people, which is a huge thing to say. But I, 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 I hope to aspire to, like, be like that one day. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan is amazing. Like, the shows that he makes, like, oh, no. my God, like, amazing. I'm, like, a Ryan Murphy super fan. Like, I, like, yeah, he's, yeah. He definitely opened up a lane for shows like Ezra to exist. So, oh, definitely. I was like, oh, please. So, yeah, no. Um, but definitely that. Those are definitely the movies for sure. Love okay. Ginger Sna- Love Ginger Snaps. Yeah, same. I that, that's one of my 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 favorite wolf films. Yeah, and those don't really happen. There's not really a lot of whole lot of werewolves going on. Actually, no, I lied. There's that wolf pack thing that just came out. I actually really like that show. I watched it. I have not seen it, but when I drive by the Paramount Studios, they have that huge poster. I think it's Paramount Plus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was like, I remember seeing that. I was like, I want to check it out. Because Sarah Michelle Gellar was up? Yeah. When I yeah. saw Buffy was in it, I was like, yeah. all right, sold. I'm watching it. Buffy's in yeah. it. I have to say it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I should probably check it out. I've been meaning to, but I haven't gotten around to it. But, you know, I did watch the show for her, but then I loved the characters that are on it, too. Like, and, and then, yeah, it's, it, 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 it's really good. I like it. I will definitely be checking it out. I will be watching <laughs> it. And then if it's horrible, I'm going to blame you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so no, I mean, so I was meaning to watch it. I just haven't been able to check it out yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I love horror television. Horror TV. Yellow Jackets. Oh, so good. I know. Uh, yeah. Oh my yes. god. Yellow Jackets is so. Oh my god. Incredible. And that was also Karen Kusama, um, directed the pilot, who directed Jennifer's Body. Oh. Which is why it's probably. But um. Most most likely that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. But I'll check out Wolf Pack for sure. Okay. Check that out. <laughs> now I'm really hoping you like it because you're going to be like, the only thing good about the show was Buffy. <laughs> they, listen, I'll give it to them. You know, <laughs> At one supernatural show person to the other, I will try my best to give it to them. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's great. I'm excited to watch. <laughs> and what about songs? Like, what's on your playlist? What kind of music do you like? Oh, that is so eclectic. Let's see. Um, love Melanie Martinez's new album. I like go through everything but country. Okay. Like sometimes, like greatest soundtrack of all time, and you can't fight me. The Queen of the Damned soundtrack. Oh my God, I love that. Yes. The yes. Amazing soundtrack. Amazing soundtrack. 
Yes. Like, I have it on vinyl, like amazing soundtrack. That's um, like my favorite van, 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 vampire film. Queen, yeah. Queen of the Dam. Yeah, yeah. Like I love yeah. the movie and I love the music. Like, wow. Yes. We love Aaliyah and Stuart Townsend. Literally, if this was my computer, was in, if I was able to move it, above my bed is a huge poster of Jennifer's body and a huge poster of Queen of the Dam. Those are both oh above my, my bed. Oh my God, I love that. So that's definitely um, a vibe in there. But that whole like rock 2000s, yes. like pop rock almost. Um, yes. I love that. But um, Melanie Martinez's album, um, love her. I'm a... This is, I'm not even embarrassed to admit this. I'm obsessed with the song Obsessed by Addison Rae. I can't get okay. it out. I can't. I can't. I don't can't. I know, but I'm obsessed with it. Um, I love Upsol, Kim Petras. Um, who else? I'm like just going through Priyanka's Hannah's Drag Race Queen. Here, there, there you go. There you go. Um, you know, we just got the classics in there. I love Suburban. Suburban's album is also really good. Nice. I don't, you know who, I don't know if you know who that is, but he's um great. I love like dark pop music. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah. So no, but I also love Nicki Minaj, Jojo, um, Aaliyah. Those are like my nice. holy trinity of artists, but yeah. It, it, it's funny when you said queen of the dam it took it took me back because i i used to do pro 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 wrestling like i never made it to the wwe or nothing like that but i did like local local shows and stuff for for pro wrestling and i would come out to the ring to for 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 sake in the song from queen of the dam i'm trapped in this world <laughs> yeah i know exactly the song <laughs> and, yeah. and, and and as soon as you said that, it took me back. To that's a good. Ring. That's a good song to come out in a wrestling ring too. That is a hundred percent a great song to do that too. <laughs> that is a great song. <laughs> no, I love that. The, uh, similar tonally, another song though. Do you know the song "Tear You Apart"? But she wants revenge. Yes. Okay. Yes. Those two songs are like if I'm trying to like put my head somewhere those are the like both of those songs i feel like that but no forsaken forsaken's a rager oh my god i love that song no that whole like record like that soundtrack they knew what they were doing with that soundtrack definitely, definitely. Like, like fuck the movie like that soundtrack like, <laughs> it's great it's amazing <laughs> yeah and if you were gonna if you were gonna do a karaoke song what would be your song me and Matthew just had to talk about this last night. Um, I think for me, it would be something very like just fun. So probably like Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne. Like just something very like, I'm like the the like people friend. Like I will, every choice I make in a group needs to uplift the group. Okay. So it's like I'm putting on a song that I know everybody's going to get, you know, pop into. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know? That's yeah. that's how I live because then I can also force them to sing with me. <laughs> you know, that's that's what I try to do. <laughs> Is there any artist or or band that you would love love to see this year? I would love to see Melanie Martinez on tour so badly. Um, all of her show dates that are like I could even go to. I think I'm filming. Which, uh, but um, I would love, love to go um see her. I I think her new album is just like really like just great. I would love to see her live. I would like so badly. It probably won't happen, but I would love it. <laughs> I would just love to do that. And which your 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 go your your go to junk junk food to eat. Oh, like Sour Patch Kids? Ooh, okay. Like, I love, like, true candy. Like, I'm not really into chocolate all that much, but, like, yeah. get, like Sour Keys, Gummy Worms, Sour Patch Kids, that's, like, the thing. Nice. I think sour. I love a good sour moment. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what would you rather do, go to the beach or camping and hiking? 
Like, honestly, neither. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather go into, like, some creepy abandoned hospital and just... Yes, like, definitely. And just, like, I would rather, like, commit, like like i don't know what's it called like breaking and entering there's an actual word for that i'm more just like i love like creepy things in the night so yes. i would rather just yes. like you know have a white claw and go um you know be chaotic somewhere okay okay i like that you know like just run through a graveyard yeah yeah do, do you do you go to like haunts during Halloween season, like the haunted houses and the hay rides and all that stuff? Oh yeah, I I, I love, love Halloween. That. Like yes. I yeah no no no. Yes. We um my friends like my best friend Mackenzie, um for years we used to go to Salem, Massachusetts every oh. year for Halloween, which was amazing. Um and then the year before this Halloween, um we went to uh, New Orleans. And oh, nice. it's just like, yeah, like we love just like running around, looking at all these crazy historic places. And that's what I like to do. Like if I'm going out, it's like some like creepy ghetto dive bar and we're just like running around and like trying to just wreak havoc for no reason, like not any ill intent, but we're just like, what would happen if we like went into this place that says do not enter, you know, like how crazy is that? I love it. I love it. Like I. I love all that stuff, like all the scary stuff, the haunts, the abandoned oh, yeah. built the buildings to see if there's really ghosts there and I like I I love all that stuff. Remember that. Remember what you just said. Okay. Okay. But um yeah, no, I love that stuff. I, it's super fun. So I'm excited. Um yeah, we're yes, but love that. That's oh. what I would rather do. Fuck a beach, fuck a hike. I want to like, <laughs> go to a mental, a mental asylum that shut down in like the 1950s. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I used to um, for around Halloween season. I, I, I worked for the the Eastern State Penitentiary in uh, Philadelphia, and it's 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 an old uh, abandoned you know prison, and they turn it into a scary house every Halloween season. I need to go to that. It's so creepy. Like when I was working there, like after everybody leaves and it's just the workers there, it is, it's such an airy feeling. I, I loved it. Like you, you, you could hear like stuff, like one, one night, I'm not even lying. It was like a hot summer night. And I was walking by one of the cells and this is after everybody left when it's just us, us there, like the people that work there. And I walked by the jail cell and the jail cell door slammed shut and there was no wind. And that's, and that's on a go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. What did you guys do? I, I, I was loving it. I, I, I had my <laughs> cell phone and I turned the flashlight on and I'm looking in the cell to see if anyone was in there. <laughs> Oh my, is that every Halloween? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I have to go to Philadelphia. <laughs> so it sounds like it. No, no, I, I love stuff like that. I love it. It's so, I love creepy. Like I live, I love. Nice. And so does, so especially to Frankie and Hale. We went to um, Horror Nights, me, Matthew. Oh yeah, Halloween and Horror. To, and uh, yeah, which is not as good as that because Halloween Horror Nights is all fake. <laughs> but oh my god it was just screaming and crying everybody fucking pissing themselves it was i love things like that like it was just all of that all of it it's nice. it so fun well this this halloween season if you come down to eastern state well i would go. love to i've never been to philadelphia so i would love all to right. i did see clips of people's apartments of it on tiktok and it looks really nice Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah i'm i'm definitely down like we could we could go to the eastern state pen I listen, I'm put me in the jail cell and leave me there. <laughs> I'm good to rot. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I've lived my life. <laughs> well, yeah, you already played someone dead, so <laughs> <laughs> well he's he's back he's back alive, hopefully. But um yeah, no, as a, I love the living dead. Love him. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, so much. <laughs>
And is there anything coming up for you? Uh, I, I know you say you got a lot of stuff that's in the works, but is there anything you're allowed to talk about that's coming up? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I can just say that I'm, um, I'm, there's a really exciting project coming out and I'm super excited for people to see what we've all been up to. Mm -hmm. And I think people are gonna really enjoy what is happening soon. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right, um, this is the worst I'm answer, but. For it now. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's really fun stuff. I think you are going to die when you find out. <laughs> by the sound, by this conversation. <laughs> okay sweet all right all right i'll i'll, I'll definitely be be checking your page out and waiting to see what this is i'll oh, just wait <laughs> there's no way you're gonna miss it it's gonna show up and be like boo and then you're like oh so nice. but yeah nice. i'm very grateful there's a lot of cool shit going on and i think the end of this year is going to be um really fun for everybody for both us and audiences i think there's a lot of really cool shit coming out all right, I, I'm I'm happy to hear that. I'm looking forward to it. No, and it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Be okay. one hell of a time. <laughs> and where can fans follow you at? Hit me up on my IG. You know, Luke Hutchy, TikTok. Those are the only things I really use. I have a Twitter. I don't really use it that much. Um, but Instagram. I love TikTok. TikTok is the place for me. Um, but yeah, just on the social, you know. Find me at the penitentiary in Philadelphia. <laughs> and that's, you can all find my, if you call them, they'll give you my like inmate number and then you can just mail stuff there. <laughs> they they actually have in there the, the, the jail cell. You ever heard of the, the like crime guy, Al, Al C Capone? Like that doesn't sound unfamiliar, but no. Prime yeah, well, I Al. No, okay. Talk to me. Oh, Al Capone. Oh, this is like a real crime man. Yeah, yeah. Like he was a real crime guy, and 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 he he they they actually have the cell that that he stood in, and they they have it just the way he left it too. From like 1947? Damn. Yeah. Damn. I hope one day my occupations on Wikipedia say gangster. <laughs> gangster bootlegger racketeer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they, well. they treated him like a king in, in the Eastern State Pen, though. Like he was the only one who had his own private cell. I mean, and did, you, did you just miss his resume? Gangster bootlegger. Like, he was... <laughs> He was the best of the best. I know. Like he he had a bed with sheets and a a dresser with a lamp. Like if when you go see the Eastern State Pen, you could walk by his cell and they have it like just the way he was living in it. Was that the one that you thought closed, or that was a different? No, cell? no, it was it was just a cell with no one in there. <laughs> I, well, I know where I'm going. <laughs> me, me and Al, me and Al are gonna be like this. <laughs> well well thank thank you so much for for doing this it was amazing talking to you it's really fun meeting you and definitely would love for you to come back home when the other stuff is out oh trust me you will be the first i guarantee you you'll be the first person we talk to okay okay sweet sweet it'll be really fun but yeah thank you so much rocco for having me i appreciate it Definitely, man. Definitely. It was fun. I loved it. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Do I just hang up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's just stop the recording. Does it, does it save? Right now.